Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna take you through how to add Google Analytics 4 to your Squarespace website. And this is specifically gonna be for Google Analytics 4. Now, we're focusing specifically on Google Analytics 4 because it's really important that you transition from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4. Because on the 1st of July, 2023, Google is going to switch over and no longer support Universal Analytics. So make sure you stay to the end of the video because if you don't set it up right, you'll either lose your connection or you'll no longer have an ability in order for you to track how people are using your site. And this is so, so important because if you don't have Google Analytics, you can't see how people are using your website, where they're coming from, and ultimately what is stopping them from buying your product or service. And if you're not using data, if you're not looking at how people are using your website, then you're probably throwing money away. So make sure you stick around. And if you do enjoy videos like this, make sure you subscribe and you check out seospace.co.uk, which is why I share SEO resources specifically for Squarespace, as well as also access to my Squarespace SEO plugin. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is search Google Analytics into Google. And once you're there, the first thing you're gonna click is Google Analytics right here. And once it loads, you'll be able to see the Google Analytics dashboard. Obviously, I've already got websites attached here, but if you haven't, you'll see a blank screen. And all you need to do is click down to admin in the bottom left-hand corner, then press create an account where it's gonna ask you to add your account name. I'm actually gonna be setting up the Google Analytics for SEO Space because we're currently in the process of rebranding our Squarespace SEO plugin as SEO Space. This website doesn't have Google Analytics because it's not launched yet, so I'm gonna take you through exactly how to add it to your website as I'm doing it to mine. So I'm gonna name this SEO Space. Then Google is gonna ask you a couple of things about Data sharing settings, you don't really need to change this because let's be honest, Google has access to most of your data anyway. So I'll just go through and click next. It'll then ask you to add a property name. You don't need to worry too much about this. I will just add here SEO space, just add the name of your website. I think that's probably the, the easiest thing to do for most people. Then your reporting time zone, I'm typically based in the UK and then we press next. It'll then ask you a little bit of information about your business. Again, you don't need to worry too much about this. I typically go for internet and telecom because we're a software company. I'll then click medium because we've now got a team of 14, which is crazy to say. It will then ask you how you intend to use Google Analytics, which again, you can enter or you can ignore if you want before then pressing create where Google is going to ask you to sign a load of different terms of service. Just accept all of that. Then you're going to see a screen where it will say start collecting data. So this is essentially the step that you'll go through to connect your Squarespace website up to Google Analytics. So without doing this step properly, the data that your website collects will not go to Google Analytics. So you're going to click web. You're going to add your website URL, which for us is seospace.co.uk. Enter that there, you can then remove the HTTPS because you can see it's here. And make sure you do use HTTPS because this shows to Google that your website is secure. Add your stream name, which for us is SEO space. You wanna have enhanced measurement because that just means that you're gonna be able to see additional things in a preloaded menu through Google Analytics, which I find really useful. And then you're going to press create stream. Now, when we say a stream, as I mentioned before, the stream just allows the flow of data from Google Analytics to Squarespace. And Google has actually recently added installation instructions, which I find really useful. It even has the supported platforms here, so you can see we've got Squarespace right there, and it provides instructions with exactly of what to do. So if you find anything confusing from this video, once you get to this point, Google is gonna tell you what to do next. But the main thing you need is your tag ID. And once you copy this, you can go over to your Squarespace website and take it from there. So once you're on your Squarespace website, what you're going to do is go to settings. You then need to go down to advanced. So settings and then advanced. After that, you're then going to go to external API keys. So it's the top one here. And the first thing you'll see is Google Analytics. And what you're going to do, you're going to copy 
your tag ID from here into the Google Analytics box here before then pressing save. Once you've done this, you can then return to Google Analytics. Now, Google Analytics won't know straight away that you've made the connection. You can see here at the bottom, it says no data received. So it's gonna take a little bit of time in order for Google to see that it's connected and start receiving data. You can see here that it can take 48 hours. So all you need to do here is leave. You can see here that Google hasn't yet received any data in the past 24 hours, which is completely normal. You can go back to home and then what I would recommend you to do is to wait the 48 hours and then come back and do a test. The best way to test it is to have the home page of your Google Analytics open, then visit your website from a mobile device. So visit from maybe another laptop or your phone if you've got one. So just get it and visit it from your phone. And if you've done the connection correctly, Google Analytics will see that there's a device on the home page of your website and it will show here that there is a user live. So as an example, I'm gonna to go to the Google Analytics of my, of my SEO and content marketing agency, Rough Water Media, and I'm going to get it up on my mobile device. So I've got the website up here, and as you can see on the screen here, on the dashboard, where we've got the users in the last 30 minutes, you can see that we've got two users at the moment, one in India and then another one in Thailand. Fortunately, I am in Thailand at the moment, so that is me on the device and we can see that everything is connected up okay and we're starting to collect data. Now you've got everything connected up, I really want you to remember that this is not the end. Just because we're collecting data from our website, just because we've got an overview of how users are using our site does not mean we should stop there. At the end of the day, you may have the best website in the world, but if you're not driving people to it, either from SEO, so organic traffic on Google, through social media, through email marketing, through paid ads, whatever marketing strategy or channel that you want to work through, unless you're driving people to your website, then having the best website in the world doesn't actually help you. You need to make sure that you're driving people to the website, which you can track through Google Analytics, and also when they land on there, they're actually doing what you want them to do. Now that's a whole other video, but I encourage you to explore Google Analytics, explore what data there is available to you. And if you do want any help with getting people to your Squarespace website via SEO, then check out the link in the description to see SEO Space. SEO Space has a complete list of resources for Squarespace SEO, as well as my Squarespace SEO plugin, a jargon-free, easy to use SEO expert in your pocket, which allows you to follow best practice and get traffic via SEO for a fraction of the cost, as opposed to using an SEO agency. And I will also be doing a video of how to connect Google Search Console to get your website onto Google. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.